Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jackson with Loveless Vintage here. If you guys are new to the channel, I have been a full-time Depop top seller since 2019. And in today's video, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the sales that I had throughout December. It was actually a really good sales month for me and since I do this full-time and it seems like people like these kind of what sold videos and I haven't done one in a while, I figured that I would fill you guys in with what's been selling well for me and some of the sales that have kind of stood out to me. So yeah, we're gonna be running through some of the items I sold, what they sold for. I'll try to tell you guys what I remember remember buying them for if I thrifted them bought them wholesale anything like that let's get into it if you guys like depop thrifting vintage content make sure to subscribe to the channel just check and see if you're subscribed sometimes you might be seeing my videos and you're not I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed drop a like on the video if you like this type of content too it really helps me out and it shows me that you like the video and want me to make more also really quick I do have a discord for thrifting vintage reselling stuff like that it's a free discord free to join the link will be down below in the description you can hop in there talk about your sales get some reseller help stuff like that and yeah let's get into it so i don't have any of these items in hand so i'm actually going to be going off of my phone i took a bunch of screenshots of sold items and i'll just be talking about them and popping up a picture here of the item so you guys can look along with me and like i said december was a really good month i had one kind of slow week but most weeks i was averaging about two thousand dollars in sales and that's before depop fees and everything like that but i consistently rank in the top like 500 300 sellers of depop and i've been doing this a long time i think i almost have nine thousand sales so if you guys have any questions anything like that make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to help you guys out. So for the first sale, I actually thrifted this Juice World hoodie, I think like two years ago. I've honestly had it for a while. I put it up for a ridiculous price when I first found it. I think I put it up for like 300 because it's a rare collab. I ended up selling it for 150 finally. So half the price I put it up for a couple years ago, but I got it at the bins. I think I paid like $2 for it. So I was fine holding on to it. Also, I love Juice World. I remember finding him on SoundCloud when I think he had like less than 10,000 followers back in like 2016 or something. So I've been listening to him for a long time. So I kept it for a while, just kind of hung up downstairs on my clothing rack. But yeah, I finally sold it for 150 bucks. This next one is a Disney hoodie. I had this in a trip to the thrift video and I was kind of surprised by the value. I sold this one. I think I took an offer for like 40 and then $5 shipping. So it was 45 shipped total. And I think I paid like $2 for that one. So pretty good margin right there. This one actually surprised me. I bought this one at wholesale and I had no idea what it was worth. It's a 70s B Kleban crazy shirt like cat tee. And I've had a couple of these designs before they normally sell for like 30 50 ish depending on how old they are and what type of design it is this one surprised me i couldn't find one like it and it's right around christmas time so i just threw it up for like a hundred bucks expecting to get some offers and i did right away i got some like 50 dollar offers 60 dollar offers so i knew it had to be something because i was getting these offers like right away but someone ended up i think paying 85 i took an offer on it i think it was like 85 or 90 so that one shocked me be on the lookout for this b cleveland stuff the older it is the better it is and some designs i think are rare there's definitely collectors out there for these types of tees next we got my bay we got the girlfriend the green m m this was front and back print i put it up for 35 bucks shipped and i think it sold within a couple days this m m has kind of become a meme because she's become very sexualized i don't know how else to put it but like it's been a long-standing joke within like my lives and stuff like that that the green m m is just like hot so I don't know. It sold for 35 bucks. We got this Morrissey tee. I actually bought this as a personal, I think in beginning of 2020. And I got it from the Thrift Lord, if you guys know the Thrift Lord. And I think I got it for like 50 bucks on his site. It kind of sat for a while. And I remember he put it on sale. It was a front and back print, single stitch from year 2000. I sold it for 100 bucks. I put it up for 100 bucks. It sold within a couple days for full price. This one was a really good sale. Allison Chains three legged dog tee. I sold it for 250 full asking price. So $5 shipping on all my items. So it was 255 total. Total, and I bought this in a wholesale video from Fleek maybe like two years ago. I kept it as a personal and wore it a decent amount. It's time to sell it. I want this other Allison Chain shirt really bad. It's a We Die Young shirt uh, with a front and back print. It's a white one. I'll put a picture up on the screen. That's the one I really want, but that's like a $700, $800 tee. This one, I think I could have got a little bit more for it, but it had some wear and I just wanted to get a quick sale in it. So I threw it up for $250. Some other ones were listed for $275, $300. I've seen it sell for around $300 or more before. So I got a full price sale on it. I think I paid $70 for it at wholesale. So I was fine with making that sale. This tee is just proof of like showing you guys the stupid shirts that I pick up at the Goodwill bins for like a dollar and I'll sell them for $25 shipped. This sold for $25 shipped. It's an eye pack like Glock gun iPod parody tee and the graphic was pretty cracked. It was pretty worn and I sold it for $25 shipped. So I don't know if it's just me, but I sell like joke shirts and things like that, like ironic shirts, 
like that on Depop all the time. Like at least once a week, I sell like something like this. This one surprised me. It was actually like a new age tee. It's for Warhammer, like the board game. Yeah, I got it at the bins. So it was probably like $2. I looked it up and I only found one similar one on eBay. And I think it was posted for like 40 bucks or something. So I threw it up for 35 with $5 shipping. So 40 total and it sold within like a week. So look out for like board game, MMO, RPG, stuff like that. There's like a very niche fan base with stuff like that. This one sold really well for me really quick. This one was something else that surprised me, the Atlanta 1996 champion like sweatshirt. I bought this at wholesale. I think I paid around like $10 for it and I didn't know that they were going for like this much. I thought it was maybe like a $35 sweatshirt, but I sold it for full price, $55 with $5 shipping. So 60 bucks. We got a nice little Kooji style sweater. I actually wore this for Thanksgiving. I'll put a picture up on the screen. Wore this one for Thanksgiving and then I listed it and I sold it within like a week. Sold it for $55 shipped. Not Kooji brand. It's a Kooji style, like a 3D knit sweater. And yeah, the earth tones are really nice. It fit me really nice, but I'm never going to really wear it again. Maybe only on special occasions. So I decided to get rid of it for 55 ship. We got an Arcteric shirt, but it's not like a normal like t-shirt style. It's like a stretchy kind of like workout team material. And yeah, I think I sold it. I think I took an offer for like 40 with $5 shipping. So it was like 45 shipped. Sold within like a week or so. Arcteric is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. The jackets like can sell for a decent amount. I think I've sold a jacket before for like 150 or I think I've actually sold like a puffer-ish style jacket before for like 175. So Arcteric is a great brand to look for. I've been selling a lot of Carhartt and it's been selling for like way more than I thought it would. I think I was in the top 1% of Carhartt sellers on Depop. They sent me like a year end round out kind of like wrap thing like Spotify wrap, but it was with like Depop categories and stuff that you sell. And it said I was within the one top percent of Carhartt sellers. I don't know if that's like by volume or by like amount of money I made on Carhartt, but I've been selling a lot of jackets. Honestly, these past like two months, I've been selling a lot of jackets. Like every jacket I bought and I've posted has sold for around what I asked for it. I think this one I had up for 250, which I think is crazy. I used to sell Carhartt jackets for like 75, maybe a hundred, but they've just gone like through the roof, especially certain colorways and stuff like that. I think that's a good offer on this one for 230. And honestly, all the Carhartt, like Detroit's, everything I list, like you see that price and you're like, dang, that's a lot. But like there are ones listed on eBay for like three, four, five, like people tax on them. So even though this is like tax in my mind, like I'm like, dang, 250 is like a lot. I'm probably not going to get that. The sell-through rate of them is like really high and I'm selling them for around what I'm listing them for. So yeah, this one sold for, I think 225 or something like that. This is another one. It was really faded and worn. And I think the Velcro on it also like wasn't working. And I took an offer and I think I still sold it for like a hundred bucks. So that's a jacket that back in the day, I probably would have sold for like 50 bucks. This is just to show you guys that reprints still sell. I'm picking up reprints, especially like new metal or metal band reprints. Not as many like Maybe if I find like a The Who, Rolling Stones, like a classic rock reprint, like those don't sell through as well, but Slipknot reprint, I'm pretty sure this was from like 2018 or something. Got it at the bins, probably paid like a dollar, dollar fifty for it. Sold it full price, 28 bucks with $5 shipping. So good return on that one. This is actually a sweatshirt that my mom owned. This was like my mom's zip up fleece Old Navy sweater pullover. I think she got it in like the mid 2000s. She just gave it to me. Like we were cleaning out her closet. She didn't want it anymore. And I was like, I feel like this white 2k old navy stuff could sell i've never really like tried much old navy stuff because it just holds like not a lot of value but i put it up for 25 with five dollars shipping so 30 total i think someone offered me 20 and i just took it so i didn't make a ton off of that shipping is probably like eight dollars but just goes to show that even Y2K Old Navy stuff is selling, which is kind of crazy to me. This Rolls Bowl tee, like, I don't know if it got in, like, the suggested. It definitely didn't get featured. You guys got to let me know if you guys get featured on the Explore page on Depop, if you guys have recently. Do you guys still get a notification? Because I haven't been featured in, I think, like, two years, but people keep telling me they're seeing my items on their, like, Explore page. But I think it's the, like, suggested for you page, which is, like, a big part of Depop now. Because this shirt got pushed to a lot of people. It got 126 likes, which is pretty good and it's pretty thrashed and I had so many offers on it for like 15 bucks, 16, 17. And I think I finally sold it for like 22 bucks with $5 shipping. It was pretty thrashed. The graphics just really nice though. And school, college stuff, depending on like the graphic always does really well. So that was a pretty good sale and it got a lot of attention. This next one I had in a recent buyout video. It is a Pleasures Reebok collab, like Anorak. I think I took an offer on it for 40 with $5 shipping. So 45 shipped. So that was a pretty solid sale. I think I paid like seven, $8 for it. This one also surprised me too 
too, these like Levi's denim jackets. I feel like maybe the price has gone up a little bit. I noticed an international buyer bought this one. So there's probably a bigger market for them, like maybe in Japan and stuff like that. Cause I think it was going to Japan, but I sold it for full price, $85 plus $5 shipping. Something like this, if I would have thrifted it like two years ago, I would put it on Depop for like $30, $40. Some price of like made in USA Levi's stuff. And it seems like Carhartt stuff has been going up. This is another just random bins, like Y2K poll I'm showing you guys to like prove that like there's a market for stuff like this, this Fox Monster Energy shirt. This is like the type of shirt that like if I was in high school and saw someone wearing this, I'd be like sick shirt, bro. Like ironically, but kids love it now. This sold for full price, $18 plus $5 shipping. Not a big return, but I got it at the bin. So it was like a dollar. Even had like a hole right here in the middle of the shirt and I don't know, people just like this style. This is another one that I got from actually my dad, so just gave it to me. This is a World Poker Tour, I think that's what it is, like Jersey. My dad was trying to play poker like semi-professionally, so he had some World Poker Tour merch and was doing tournaments and stuff. I'm not sure if he like bought this or got it from a tournament or something, but he gave it to me. I put it up for $30 and five shipping. I think I took an offer for like 25 or something, so sold that one. Shout out to my parents for just giving me their old stuff. This was an Inuyasha shirt that I bought in a market, uh, a summer market, I actually had a video on it. I bought this from from a vendor there and I think I got it for like 20 or 25 bucks it was a small the back print was really cool but sizing wasn't the best I kind of bought it in a bundle with some other stuff but sold it full price for 55 ships so I was stoked with that and the girl that bought it was like really stoked she's like this is my favorite anime I'm really stoked so whenever I can make a customer happy like I'm stoked I just said stoked a hundred times anyways this next one is something I pulled out the bins it was a 70s seven up like work jacket with the little Ralph embroidery on it it had an embroidered back patch as well talon zipper uh there wasn't many comps on this one there was a lot of pepsi ones my friend blaine that went to the bins with me that day got a pepsi one and he saw comps for the pepsi one around like 40 to 50 so i put mine up high for 75 i think i took an offer for like 65 plus five dollars shipping so i got 70 bucks for that and i paid probably two dollars for it at the bins here's another jacket i actually had this carhartt jacket for like half a year but this is a pretty rare colorway it's like a petrol one and i think i originally had it listed for like 200 and someone actually messaged me and they were like hey i collect carhartt and just so you know you could probably get like 300 dollars for that jacket so shout out to them I, I had no idea so i bumped the price up and i just sat on it and i think i ended up taking an offer for 275 or something like that but still like way more than i thought i'd get i even thought 200 was like high when i posted it so just depends on colorways conditions and stuff like that for carhartt but carhartt's something that's really been surprising me lately we got a morning sun grandma style loveless vintage sweater just showing you guys that these still sell it was up for 35 dollars shipped i took an offer of i think 26 plus five dollars so 31 dollars ship but they still sell and and I still pick them up when I see them. Here's another just random like joke tee that I got at the bins like I think last week and it sold like within a couple days. It's like a fake and bacon like sex parody shirt. And I took an offer on this one for 22 plus $5 shipping, but these types of shirts sell. I pick them up. So this is one that I think I've had for like a year. I pulled it at the bins, maybe actually at the beginning of this year, but it's a Scorpions band tee and the back print is actually really crazy. It's like a pretty rare one, but it has a huge hole, like a really big hole right here, but it's on the seam. So someone could easily like fix it up and stitch it up but I just didn't want to I, I just don't really do repairs on any of my stuff so I listed it for what I thought was fair like 70 bucks I saw some vintage scorpion stuff like upwards of 120 150 for like more rare design so I sat on this one for a while and someone actually pulled the trigger on it like I think on Christmas day bought it full price for 75 shipped another example of a reprint that sold corn a big graphic print t-shirt screen printed tag new age t front and back print sold at full price for 30 ships so pick up those reprints here's another green moss like Carhartt Detroit jacket. I had one earlier that I think was a large that I sold. This one was an XL. I think I took an offer on it for like 225. So again, Carhartt selling another Carhartt. I just sold this one yesterday, actually full price 225 sandstone colorway. So Pick up those car hearts. Like a lot of car hearts been selling really well. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. I haven't done a what sold video in a long time. Hopefully you guys liked it. Again, drop in the comments if there's any questions that you guys have with Depop or anything relating to that, what type of items to pick up. These are things that have just been selling well for me. And as a full-time seller on Depop, I just wanna be transparent with you guys what's selling well for me and kind of give you guys a little insight on what I'm making. So appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure to drop a like. Happy new year. There'll be more videos in the new year. I'm gonna try to continue continue with at least a video every week. I've been kind of slacking, but trying to get back to a video every week, thrift content, vintage content, maybe try some different types of content too. I appreciate all you guys so much. Thank you for following. I've been doing YouTube since end of 2019 and we're close to 15,000 subs. It would be so awesome to hit that 15,000 goal very soon. So subscribe if you guys aren't and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Jackson Loveless Vintage. Peace out you guys.